I want to show you five gotchas with dynamic arrays. These things are killer, but you know me. I want to show you the stuff that's broken as well as the cool slick stuff. And I'm going to tell you why. When I first started playing bass, I took a bunch of lessons. And then I went and auditioned for a band. After a few songs, these guys just looked at me. Two guitarists and a drummer. Dead silence. After the audition, they said, we'll let you know. When the guy emailed me, he suggested that I should take some lessons. I had been taking lessons. What I didn't realize was the lessons hadn't taught me about being a musician. What it took to be good playing the bass as a bandmate, making good music. My lessons had taught me about playing bass as if I would never play with anybody else. I'm not going to set you up like that. So let's look at five gotchas with these dynamic arrays. Number one. You cannot sort. Here is some data where I have unstacked it. They're in groups of four. So we got Austin, 66 years old. He's in the West region and his favorite color is blue. And I have broken the data out here and you can see that blue line. But now... I want to sort by age. So I'm going to go to the age column like normal up here. Go to sort. I want to sort it largest to smallest. No, cannot change part of an array. If I wanted it sorted, I had to do it down here like this, where I used sort by. And even here, if I wanted to sort, I can't do that. I would have to do this. I would have to go and change this instead of negative one. Let's change it to one so that it sorts ascending. Now it's ascending. Also, because we can't change part of an array, let's try to delete Hattie. Go here, right click, delete, shift sales up. It's not doing anything. That does not work number two in regular excel if i wanted to filter i could go anywhere in this column to filter for blue let's do that filter but look where the button is the button is right there it's not on favorite color so i cannot do that if i can filter though here go here filter now i can filter for blue watch out for that number three I can't put this into a table watch what happens home format as table okay a bunch of spill errors can't do it all right let's get out of that table number four gotta be careful if for whatever reason you want to put this into a pivot table all right Highlight this range, insert pivot table. Okay, so I can create a pivot table, but look, look at this. Here's a pivot table, and here is how I did this with dynamic functions. Here I have a sum of 21, here is a sum of 18. What's the problem? Look at this. Let's go to analyze, change data source. Angie, Kevin, and Lyle were added after I created the pivot table. And so they are not being counted in the final result. If I insist on keeping this in a pivot table, I would have to go back to this change source. The typical solution to that would be to put it into a table, but we already saw we can't put it into a table. Number five. Let's say that I need to do a merge with these names. So I need to take this into Power Query. All right. Data from table slash range. Nope. Can't do it. They are. 
five quick warnings about these dynamic array functions. Play with them. Check it out. Trust me that I am not going to have people standing around looking at you because you learned all the clean stuff. You know the dirty stuff. You know the traps. All right? See you in the next video.